Hey YouTube, welcome to my first and potentially only video, but considering the research I put in to try to come up with this system, I thought I'd post it before I fish. Once I fish it, I'll be certain to report back and tell you what does or doesn't work very well. So, I picked up my Bonafide SS-127 summer of last year because I had a big interest in trying to get into kayak fishing. I'm a fly rod guy, so I know there are various annoyances that come with fishing off of a kayak for fly rod guys with the fly line and the tangling and everything else. But the biggest one, um, after pretty much fishing this kayak near bare bones, um, that hurt me the most was the inability to keep my kayak remotely anchored. Um, I don't need to sit perfectly still, uh, but when I row somewhere and in the littlest bit of current on my lake, if I could just keep myself generally in the position that allows me to stand there and cast for a bit with the inability, sorry, without having to row, um, it's a huge win for me. So for Christmas this past Christmas, my lovely wife gifted me the Anchor Wizard. So the weather's broke here enough uh, to make me itching to go after bass here in western Pennsylvania. Um, I went, I fished this originally. I just had the line running to the very front of the SS-127 uh, right under the front grip. So my anchor was always just dropping right off the nose of the boat. I, while that was a tremendous improvement over the inability to anchor, I learned pretty quickly in just a couple sessions that it would be even more powerful to be able to control where on the boat I was anchored, given current conditions, wind, and all the things that like to play games with me on the lake and the ponds that I fish most, most closely here to home. So I combined, I don't know, something like two to three YouTube videos to come up with this solution. Admittedly, it hasn't been fished once I fish it. As mentioned, I will come back and tell you what sucked or what worked. I have pretty high hopes. So here goes. I'm not a fan of the perch pads. While I don't dislike the perch pads, I certainly don't use them in the way they were intended to be used. So um, as you can see, I, I used a 12 inch uh, Yak Attack Mighty Mount. Got that down in there, mounted. There goes my anchor wizard courtesy of my wife. Now, the trolley system is the standard Yak Attack non-HD lever lock system. So I got my front pulley way out. That front side is about, I'm going to call it two inches from the front of the boat, maybe closer to an inch. Admittedly, that pad hook could probably be in a little bit better position, but I'm confident that if for any reason this line wanted to try to come up, I got a good catch point there, which is really what I was after. And then the rear pulley, just inside the serial number. This is wider or stretches longer um, than any of the videos, quite frankly, that I saw. Um, I deferred to Luther on the Yak Attack install video for the lever lock anchor trolley who, to make a long story short, basically tried to get the pulley as far back and as far forward on the given boat that you were installing it for. I haven't seen many set up that way. I can't say that um, I'm confident that that will come in handy, but if I, were, uh, I was drilling holes... I figured I'd give myself the widest range. So, now, the extra pulley. I ordered a pair of stealth pulleys just to use one to come up with this setup. Uh, the video that told me that I needed a, stand, or a um, standalone pulley system when trying to use the wizard with an anchor trolley is the actual anchor wizard video. Um, so, again, I tried to combine a few things here to come up with the solution. You have to suspend disbelief because this boat's not in the water, nor is it raised off the floor of my garage. I loosen 
the anchor falls. I unclip. I can move it forward. I can move it backwards. Whenever it's where I want, I can lock the line. I can anchor. If I wanted to anchor on that side of the boat, I loosen. The anchor falls into the water. I can move it all the way front. I can move it all the way back and control exactly where my anchor point is. So that's the conclusion of my video. I am by no means a YouTube pro. Um, I can't speak for the quality of my video, filming this on my phone. But I figured uh, there may be somebody like me out there who's trying to figure how to bring some of these pretty cool anchoring devices together with the lever lock anchor trolley, the anchor wizard. Um, so I hope this helps. Uh, please give me your feedback. And uh, hope you all catch a lot of fish. And I hope you all had a happy Memorial Day. Thanks to all that serve. Um, I wish I could say thank you to all that have served for us to let us get to celebrate this great holiday. Y'all take care.